Emerson Unger coming to you from CES 2018. I'm here with Keith from Omron, and we're talking about a very special robot today. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about this very unique and special robot. Well, this robot is named Forpheus, and Forpheus is the world's first certified robotic uh, ping pong instructor. So it's not meant to be that you're playing against Forpheus, but actually Forpheus will help you to play better. What was the idea? Why did you guys pick ping pong? Ah, that's a good question. So we were looking for something that could demonstrate all of our different technologies. Artificial intelligence, robotics, sensing and control, and a way to put all those things together but do it in a way that would, first of all, be a little bit fun, but then also be a way where it could help someone improve themselves. Kind of technology to make someone the best that they can be. And you do have quite a bit of technology on hand. Explain what you have here today, apart from, you know, her amazing skills in ping pong. <laughs> Well, actually, each piece of the technology that's part of Forprius has real-life applications that we're also showing. So the robotic side, we do a lot in robotics for industrial automation to make factories more efficient and safer for the people that work there. We also do a lot in mobility where we make driving safer, so monitoring drivers to make sure that they're alert. We also have energy saving and energy renewable energy technology. So again, using technology to help make society and lives better. Sounds like a dream come true. I, I want to ask you, what if you're not that great of a ping pong player? I am notoriously awful at playing ping pong. I'm pretty, yeah, well, you'll see my skills. Well, actually, you're perfect then, because you'll notice that as you start, she will she will not just be watching the ball, she'll be watching you, both uh, with facial recognition and also with body language and observing your play. And that's where some of the AI comes in, and she'll actually try and match your skill level to keep the rally going and then to try and improve to make you better. Got to ask you one last question. Thinking forward, you know, with the relationship between humans and robots, where do you see that going? I think we look at it as it used to be that the most we could do is work alongside robots, but now it's how do we work with robots and work with them in harmony to help humans to be more productive, help them to be more safe, and help to, them to work together better than ever before. Looks like I need a new friend for me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Keith. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go play. All right, let's do it. Thank you for watching Muse. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on all the other videos you see to watch more of our content.